Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Every time you turn around, they find a new way to rip you off. So Brad sent me notes and Steve, check this out. From abc7newyork.com, ATM thieves use glue and the tap function to drain accounts at Chase Bank. You know them modern cards you got, the ATM card? You, you, you look at that card closely, now it has a little chip on it. That chip makes it really secure. Chip also means you can do some other things with it, including tap it for payment, which I don't like these newfangled ideas until they've become, I don't know, more widespread for quite some time so they can work the bugs out. And uh, it now appears that I'm right to think that way because one of the bugs could cost you some money. Michael Finney wrote this, and the story is out of California. ATMs provide great convenience, but they're also longtime targets of thieves. Some use skimmers to steal your account number or stand nearby to rob customers. Now there's a new kind of ATM fraud and a warning to watch out if you use the tap function on your debit card. The tap feature uses radio waves to access your account so you don't need to actually insert your card. Now you might say, but Steve, come on, who's so lazy that they wouldn't insert their card? Well, sometimes you may have to. Some Chase Bank customers say thieves use the tap feature plus some ordinary glue to steal their money. One woman shows seven on your side how she got scammed at an ATM. I was using the ATM on the right-hand side. My partner was here. The guy next to him was here. I inserted my card, and it didn't work. The man in line offered some advice. He said, oh, if you have a chip card, you can just tap it. So she tapped her card. It worked. She got her cash. She thanked the man, and she walked off. Next morning, she looks at her bank account, and somebody had pulled $940 out of her account. I said to my partner, that guy scammed me last night. Same thing happened to another man at the same ATM when the card reader didn't work. A man leaned in and he said, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought he was using the ATM. There's a problem with a slot function. You have to use the tap function instead. So he tapped his card, took his cash and walked away. Later on, he found his two accounts had been drained of $560. Meanwhile, another guy tapped his Apple Watch at the ATM and withdrew $40. Later, he found five more withdrawals in a row, adding up to 960 bucks. He said, wait a second. I definitely did not withdraw that much money. I think someone walked up to the ATM right after I used it. So these victims all complained to the bank manager. And the one woman said, I reported this to the police. It's happening up and down Mission Street. That's what she was told, she said. The manager then explained how the scam works, which starts with glue. They put glue in the card reader of the ATM so you can't use your card. So they, they, they tamper with the card reader so card won't even go in. So when you walk up, your card ain't going to go in. And when they see you walking up, they kind of stroll up right behind you. And the, one does work and one does not work. And they oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, you can just go ahead and tap it. And they're hoping that you take their advice. So customers tap the card. And here's the trick. When you tap, the account remains open for more transactions unless you proactively log out. So if you go through all the prompts on the screen, one of them will say, you know, is that your final transaction? Do you want to log out now? You need to say yes and log out. If you don't, it stays active. Some customers don't know this, but of course the scammers do. They wait for the victim to leave. Then they walk up and start making withdrawals on the victim's account. Now, all three victims filed fraud claims with Chase Bank. All three were initially denied. <laughs> the bank said that the customers had authorized withdrawals. When you tapped, you authorized it. Even though you walked away and somebody else finished the transaction, you had authorized it because you had tapped. That's what they said. So one of them said, that's definitely not true. The other one said, I said, this is ridiculous. Why would I do four separate transactions right in a row? And somebody asked, don't they have a picture of who actually did it? So victims said Chase would not review surveillance video because the amounts were below $5,000. So they said, look, we've got video. We haven't got time to look at it because these amounts are too small. We're not, we're not going to even bother doing that. So one of them filed a claim, and then eventually they replaced her money. And then after the TV station started asking too many questions, they refunded the other two people also. So the three people in the story all got their money back. But Chase told Seven on your side, when using an ATM, be vigilant and protect your PIN. 
and make sure you've logged out of your account. One of the people says, I'll never use that tap function again. Now, there is a bit of confusion here because Chase did not say why multiple withdrawals did not trigger a fraud alert or why the bank did not review surveillance video. But they also say each transaction requires entering a PIN. So that would mean that when you walked up and tapped it and entered your PIN, the person giving you the advice had to see you doing that. So if you pulled the old cover up your PIN thing, it wouldn't have worked, according to this. So the thieves had apparently captured the PIN, so always cover the keyboard, but make sure that you log out before you walk away. Okay, that's the important thing, is that you have to actively log out. But I've always been curious about these tap functions and so on, and I'll admit I had no inkling that this was what would come of that. But I do have a chip card, and I've used it where I stick it in, and pin, yank it back out again. And uh, I've, I've, I've had them say, oh, you can tap that if you like. And I don't know why. I just, no, it's okay. I, I, I'm here. <laughs> I can insert the card and pull it back out again. Okay, I, that, that's, that's, I, 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 I have the energy to do that today. I'll do that today. It does remind me, of course, of L.A. Story with Steve Martin, one of the greatest movies of all time, in which he goes to an ATM. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. I'm sure that the, you know, just that little section of the movie is on uh, YouTube someplace. But you got to be careful using an ATM. Everything from if you're using one at night, you got to make sure there's not somebody hiding around who's going to jump you. Uh, I've also been very leery of using them, even when I'm in my vehicle and I pull up to one. You know, what would stop somebody from running up and, and trying to jump between, you know, grab the money, you know, between my car and the ATM? Uh, it's never happened, but these are the kinds of things you think about. But um, again, if you go up to the ATM and it doesn't work, you got to be careful. You got to be careful because we've heard of the stories of the skimmers they use. And that's where they actually take a, a device that kind of fits into and over the uh, actual opening of the ATM. Or they also do this at gas stations on, on, on fuel pumps. And when you stick the card in and pull the card out, sometimes it doesn't work because this thing disables it, but they get your information that way. Or sometimes it works, but it feels funny. So if anything looks unusual about the ATM, you're going to want to just stop and walk away from it. And a very good friend of mine called me one day and said, got hit on the ATM thing. I said, how'd that happen? And she was driving along one day, needed gas, and pulled off the freeway at a huge gas station, used the ATM, uh, you know, used, used the card function on the gas pump, filled her car up, and got driving, and said within an hour started getting fraud alerts about her card allegedly being used at a mall a couple of miles away from that gas station. They were able to retrieve the information from her card and clone it onto another card and get it to a mall and use it within an hour. And it's amazing how fast they can do that. And of course, she managed to get it stopped, but the thieves got away with a bunch of stuff. Didn't cost her any money, but it it costs somebody something. Stuff's not free. So got to be careful about that. ATM thieves use glue and the tap function. Drain accounts at Chase Bank. Michael Finney wrote that. Brad sent it to me. From ABC7NewYork.com. And I got to tell you, for those of you who follow the saga of the traveling $100 bill behind me, uh, I, I came into the studio this morning, turned on the lights, and looked and couldn't see the bill anywhere. I thought to myself, where did I put it last? And this has happened before, by the way. I hide it so well, sometimes I can't find it. <laughs> so I turned on the lights, stood behind the camera, because it's got to be visible on camera, and I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I could not find it. I started thinking to myself, where did I put it last? Did, did I, and, I, and I move it so often, I don't think about it. And I, and, I, and I couldn't remember. So I had to go and fire up a computer and look at the thumbnail from the last video that I shot and in the thumbnail, it's one of the most obvious spottings I've ever done where I put it in plain view, but I put it on top of a license plate in the back. And overnight, something caused the bill to fall, and it fluttered, and it landed behind this bookcase. <laughs> I never would have found it in a million years. Until I, until I looked behind that bookcase. Good news it didn't fall behind this one. Because if it fell behind this one, I would never have gotten it out. 
But this one, I could actually get behind. So, just to let you know, what I do here in front of the camera is only half the battle. The other half is, is finding and moving that $100 bill. <laughs> so, there you go. Questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. Man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shore.